Hoseo. Hoseo. <laughs> okay, right on cue. Right? <clears throat> March is given now as Women's History Month. After all the marches that women have been doing, it's good that the whole month of March is given to her. And so again, that I have up here, this is Joy Harjo, Native American poet and poet laureate. And so, glad to start that off with her. And I'll be following with uh, Mary Oliver and her transformation. Uh, all this display you know, goes with my first piece and with the Mary Oliver piece I'll be reading. And here on my display, you'll see an alligator. This is a what you call a replica alligator. But strictly speaking, it, it, it's not meant to be an actual, it's a proxy. It's a proxy of the spirit. It's bitter too, mystica. Um, is different than an animal spirit. This is something else, and it's only that the alligator, here, it's the title of her poem, and it is her experience of transformation and enlightenment, and that is her abstract. And so, that's why I have it here. This is an extraordinary poem of the poet's transformation. Alligator. How speed held back my death. I knelt down at the edge of the water, and if the white birds standing in the tops of the trees whistled any warning, I didn't understand. I drank up to the very moment it came, crashing toward me, its tail wailing like a bundle of swords slashing the grass and the inside of its cradle-shaped mouth, gaping and rimmed with teeth. And that's how I almost died on the edge of the sea. But I didn't. I leaped aside and fell. And it streamed past me crushing everything in its path as it swept down to the water and threw itself in. And in the end, this isn't a poem about foolishness, but about how I rose from the ground and saw the world as if for the second time the way it really is. The water, that circle of shattered glass, healed itself with a slow whisper and lay back with a backlit light of polished steel. And the birds in the endless waterfalls of the trees shook open the snowy pleats of their wings and drifted away Wow, for keepsake and to steady myself, I reached out. I picked the wildflowers from the grass around me, blue stars and blood red trumpets on long green stems. For hours, in my trembling hands, they flickered <coughs> like fire that burns down like a Brand new heaven. Thank you.